Hey, what's up, YouTube verse? So, YouTube verse, universe, you, you, to never, you, you guys decide what you want to be saying. <laughs> so, what's up, YouTube verse? Where you've got uh, just a quick update going on out here in the shop. Got a uh, really nice, beautiful piece of Amboynia burl. Got some CA finish going on here behind me. You guys haven't seen a whole lot of videos coming out from me lately. It has been busy here in the shop. I thought it was going to go slow down after dads and grads, and it has not. Things are busier than ever. We've got some really fun stuff going on, and uh, I'm looking forward to finally being able to get to editing some videos for you guys so that way you guys can see what we've got going on out here in the shop. So, we've been acquiring some new stuff. Been doing a lot of label casting um, pen blanks lately in Sierra and in Bolt Action. Uh, I'm going to be updating the Etsy site. That way you guys can get a hold of some of that stuff. So, switch my hands here. That way uh, you guys quit seeing this hand. Hi! <laughs> Showing up <laughs> in there on the side of the frame. Um, so, we've got, got some different things going on. Figured I'd show you it's just some stuff that we got in the mail lately. If do a mail call, you know, I, I know that I've seen other people do mail calls before and uh, show you guys some of the stuff that we got go coming on. So, uh, have a customer in Italy, actually. This is going to be a really fun one. He's got uh, interest in uh, one of the Hawaiian pen kits, which is your guys' favorite pen. You guys love the Hawaiian pen. I love making them, and uh, I look forward to doing this one. But the guy didn't want it in chrome and gold, which is what I've offered it previously for in the past. He wanted it in gold with chrome. So we now have on the Etsy site gold with chrome. So it's got chrome accents instead of the gold accents. You guys can see that right there. So the chrome accents there instead of the gold. And so we're going to be carrying those now on the site. I've picked up a couple of those kits so you guys can go on there and pick those up on my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can do that. Let's see, what else have we got? I picked up a couple of steels, not steels, but really good deals on some really neat wood. So I found this piece of Robusta, is what the guy said that it was, and it's a really beautiful, kind of a reddish pink burl is what it, is what it is, and it is gorgeous. I'll see if I can't get a photo of where I got it off of eBay, actually. got it from a guy. Uh, on eBay, shipped to me direct from Hawaii, absolutely gorgeous piece of wood, and uh, look forward to cutting into that and seeing exactly what it turns out. So that's going to be a fun one, see if I can't get better light angle here, there we go. So you got some really beautiful curling, if I could wet it down out here I would because with, uh, w with some water on it, it just it looks fantastic. You can look at the side grain there, you can see all the swirls and curls. When it's wet, it just, there's something about the grain patterning on it. It looks like the wood itself is water. It's just got this really cool flowing effect going to it. It's really neat stuff, and I'm really looking forward to cutting that up, turning it into some pen blanks. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to doing some of this. I found a supplier in Arizona that got me some of this. You guys guess what that is? Some of you might know, some of you casters out there probably know exactly what that is. So this is prickly pear cactus fiber. So this is the fibrous inside of a prickly pear cactus and it makes for some really neat shapes when you cast it in resin. And so I'm going to be doing some prickly pear cactus castings, and this will be fun. With this stuff, you have to use a resin that seeps down slowly. You, you can't use like a really fast casting resin, because you need it to fill in all of those voids. And so you need to use something a little bit slow, and it's really cool. I actually got a full box of this stuff. Huge box, and really neat. Got it for a very inexpensive. It wasn't an expensive buy. A um, little less than 20 bucks if I remember right. And so it was, it was a re really neat deal. I just happened upon it actually. I was on there just checking out to see when this was going to be arriving. 
and then saw that on there and was like, what is that? I know that I've seen it before, and so I clicked on it, started reading it, and uh, found that supplier, and might be picking up some more in the future if I am happy with this stuff. So it'll be fun. Um, it's fully dried out already. They said that it's fully dried out in the hot Arizona sun, which anybody from Arizona, you guys know it's hot down there. <laughs> Polar bear does not live in Arizona. In fact, here in Oregon, we've been in a heat wave. We've been encroaching 100 degrees and actually have reached 100 degrees already a few times in early July. And now it's late July and we're still getting up into the 90s. Polar bear hasn't been happy. So, <laughs> but we've got some fun stuff. We've got that going on. Been picking up a few inlay kits as well. I've had some interest in inlay kits. We've got a customer, that one right there. I'll just pull it out of the, the box here. So this one is a hummingbird inlay kit. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which I recommend that you do, follow me on Instagram, you can see exactly what's going on in the shop um, more often than I can post on YouTube because editing videos takes time and I can snap pictures and kind of give quick brief videos on Instagram and you guys can see exactly what I've got going on. But So here's a hummingbird blank. Uh, I've got a customer who wanted a hummingbird blank. going to be doing that in a contour uh, chrome with gold. So that's going to be pretty neat and uh, we'll get that going for her here real soon. For you gun guys out there, myself included, I've got an uh, M4 carbine inlay kit right here. Let me try one of those out, see how that turns out, so that'll be a fun one. And then I picked up a couple more of these uh, Eagle Pen kits. These were really nice. I really liked the one that I did for Independence Day. Um, if you guys saw my Independence Day video, um, I'll put a link to it here. Then you'll see that I made this up. It's got red, white, and blue in the Eagle, and they're really neat. So I picked up two of those, and I actually have a plan for one of them. I've got a young man who is going to be working on his Eagle Scout here real soon. And so he doesn't know it yet, but when he gets his Eagle, I am going to be presenting that to him at his court of honor. So that's going to be a fun one. It's a gift from me to him, young man who I'm really, really proud of. We worked with him when he was a Cub Scout and I was his Cub Master. And now he's moving on and he's in Boy Scouting and he's worked all the way up through his Life Scout, working on his Eagle Scout, which is the highest rank that you can achieve in Boy Scouting. And it's a huge, huge deal for him. He had a lot of struggles um, going on in his personal life. And so I'm going to be doing one of those up for him. So that's going to be really neat, really fun, and I'm really looking forward to, to doing that. Hopefully he doesn't see this video. <laughs> Let's see, what else? I think that's about it for this mail call. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, that Amboynia Burl. That Amboynia Burl actually came off of... Whoop, drop my cactus. That Amboynia burl actually came off of this piece of Amboynia, which I still have the burl cap of. So it was about seven eighths of an inch thicker before I cut it. Seven eighths of an inch thick is what I took off. And then uh, trimmed it down to three quarters. And now I've got all of the pieces left over inside of this box. So I've got. I know the videography in here is terrible. I really need to get a cameraman or something. Cameraman or an editor. Anybody want to work for free that just wants to have fun, you come give me a call. Let me know. I'll be happy to get somebody out here to help me do some of this stuff. What I really need is somebody that can edit videos. Somebody wants to edit videos pro bono, just for the fun of it, you let me know. But so, down here I've got these things. These are more of the cutoffs. So there's a piece from that same exact Amboynia Burl cap. Um, real nice gorgeous piece of Amboynia Burl. It's got nice gold on the ends and red in the middle. Real beautiful piece. Got some real thin slices from when I cut it down. Uh, let's see. We got some off pieces, off cuts, off shoots. Get a better angle there. There we go. Some off shoots from it that I'm going to cast up. And then, let's see, here's another fun piece. This is going to be a fun casting. The only downside is 
this stuff is covered in wax. And those of you that know, wax is horrible for casting. It will not allow it to bond to the wood. And so I have to do some test pieces and that's what some of these other pieces are. Um, this real small thin piece, um, like some of these other little like uh, pieces that are, they're, they're long enough and they'll be great for casting if I can get the wax off. So if I can get the wax off of these, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil them. If you boil the wood, I'm told that if you boil the wood, then the, uh, the, the wax will rise up. Wax does not actually seep down into the grain of the wood. And so if you boil it, then the wax will rise up to the top of the water. You can skim it off, retrieve your wood out, and then dry it again and it will um, be wax free again and then you'll be able to cast it. And so I'm gonna be doing some test pieces with some of these really cool ones. Here's another neat one. And actually both of these were off of the same piece. These were the cutoff ends from the piece that I've got with a CA finish going on behind me here. So I'll show that to you guys there. Really gorgeous piece of Amboynia Burl ready for another coat of medium, which is what I've been waiting for it to do, which is why I'm doing this mail call uh, Wednesday. <laughs> mail call Monday sounds so much better, but it's Wednesday here in the States. Well, it's Wednesday pretty much over the entire world, minus a couple of you guys who are a day ahead of us. So, I've got that going on out here. So this is kind of a fun deal. Really looking forward to this. The Amboynia Burl is beautiful. If you guys want a pan in Amboynia Burl, I've got stock of it. Let me know and we'll see what we can do. I've got Amboynia Burl on a lot of my pens um, on the shop. They are more expensive. Amboynia Burl is not cheap stuff. It is gorgeous though. So if you guys want a piece of Amboynia Burl, you let me know. We'll see what we can do. I'm doing a lot of custom orders right now. Things that are kind of not on my shop. They're they're off uh, off site. You know, things that I've sent people like, hey. I've got a Cambridge pen that's on the way, kit, part kits for it, um, for a one-off shoot. I've got a dragon pen coming up. Shh. Got a dragon pen coming up that's going to be neat. My wife's told me there's a couple of her friends that I need not to tell them that I can do dragon pens because as soon as I do, uh, my orders are going to go through the roof. And I'm... Orders are already through the roof, so... But, uh, yeah, so we've got some fun stuff coming on the way. Got a few things in the mail that are going to be fun. And I'll, uh, I'll show those to you guys when they get here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's been going for about 12 minutes, 45 seconds of me yamming around on. So you guys have a great weekend. Have a good week. And thanks for joining me out in the shop. This is Tactical Painter, Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out. Hey, one quick note, be sure to hit that subscribe button, I'll have it right down here for you. And be sure to check out some of my other videos here on the sides, left, right, wherever I want to put them, I'll throw them on there. But come by the channel, see what we got going on, and I'll be sure to get as many videos as I can for you coming up here in the future. Again, this is Suits Crafting, out here in the woodshop, signing out.